Okay, dokie, today we're talking about related rates. And so basically this is the last thing with derivatives and calculus and kind of show how this works. Um, basically it's built off of an idea of the chain rule of kind of it looks like this. And so in this example we're going to be using dh over dt equals dh dv dv dt. And so since those cancel we get that answer. And so kind of how do we get that? Also another thing I need to write on here would it be the volume of a cone which v equals pi divided by 3 r squared times the height. Cool. So since we're going to be using this, so how do I know what I want? So what I did when I was solving these problems is I would look for what do I want. When the height is at 3 meters, how fast is the height growing? How fast is the height growing. So what is the instantaneous rate of that growth of the cone at that point in time when the height equals 3 meters? Okay. So I need the change in the height over the time because they want a rate. How fast? How fast would be a rate. So blah 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 something you know, meters cubed per minute or something like that, okay? So, but to get this, I don't have a dh over dt equation. So what I'm going to have to do is set that equal. I do have, I can get, I do have the dv over dt. I know the volume, this is my volume falling per time. So the rate of it falling is 2, so the dv over dt. The rate of sand falling over the time. That's that number. Then I'm also going to need this. How do I get to there? So I want dh. I'm going to always put up here. So dh will go up here, dt will go up here, and you need an intermediate one. It'll be the same on the bottom. So dv. So I need a dh over dv equation. I don't know how I'm going to get that. I do have a V over here. I have an H over here. And in this note right here, it says the sand is following in a conical pile where the diameter equals the height. So here's the math I'm going to do to get this equation. And then we're just going to do the math and get our answer super easy. So because the diameter equals the height, 2 times the radius equals the height because I have my r in this equation. So I want to get rid of this r and turn this all into h's, so I have v's and h's, which is what is in my rate that I need. So I have 2r equals, or 2r equals h, so I'm going to change that to look like r equals h over 2. So I just divided by 2 to get this. Now I'm going to plug it in. So I have my volume equals pi over 3, times r, which is h over 2, squared times h. So now I'm going to multiply this out here. And so my volume is going to equal pi over 3 times h cubed over 4. Okay, so that's going to be pi h3 over 12. And that's going to equal my volume. But I need the derivative of the volume. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the dv over dt. So the derivative of volume is going to give me the dt. So that's going to equal v prime, if you will. Um, and so I'm going to have dv over d. Oh, that's not dt. It's dh, because I have the height. It's the height in the equation here. So think dy dx, right? But instead of x, I have h. Instead of y, I have v. OK? And so the derivative of this, I'm going to move the 3 down in front of the pi. So I'm going to do it over here. So I have 3 pi h squared, because that's going to move down by 1 by the power rule, over 12. And so then I'm going to reduce that 1, 4. So I have pi h squared over 4. So that And that equals the change in volume over the change in height. So now what I'm going to do is I need the change in height over the change in volume. So all I'm going to do is get flip the fraction over. And so if we take dv dh equals pi over h squared over 4, 
So I'm going to change that, and if I just flip it over, find the reciprocal, if you will, of dh over dv equals 4 over pi h squared. Cool. And this is technically, um, so volume is measured in meters squared, right? Nope. No, that's area. We need meters cubed almost. Okay, the units do work out. So I'm going to put meters cubed. But it's actually meters squared because we took the derivative of it. So that becomes meters squared. So now I'm going to put it in my equation. So I have dv over, oh, I have dh, just copying this thing up here. So I have dh over dt equals, and then my dh over dv is this thing right here. Okay, so that's going to be 4 meters squared over pi h squared times my dv over dt, my change in volume over my change in time. So 2 meters cubed, oh, that's going to be on the bottom. And the reason it's on the bottom is because it would be on the top with the h here, on top, right, because that's going to be over 1, and so since I flipped it, it's going to be on the bottom, so meters squared, and it's going to cancel. This will cancel with that, so that's how I know. And then over per minute. And now I just multiply. To get this one, I just multiply. So dh over dt is going to equal 8 meters cubed over pi h squared meters squared times per minute. So the meters will cancel, so I have 8 meters per pi h squared minutes equals the change in the height and the change in time. So when the it says, going back to our question, when it's 3 meters tall, so I'm going to plug in 3 for h. So I'm going to get 9 pi on the bottom, because 3 times 3 is going to be equal 9 per minute, and I'm going to have 8 meters, because I have 8 on top, and that's my answer. So it's changing at 9 pi minutes, 8 meters per 9 pi minutes. That's the rate at which the thing is growing. The conical thing of sand is growing at that instant in time. So I know it was long, but I hope that was helpful.